Hello friends, it's Vlogmas Day 8 and I have a confession. I was not a very good vlogger today. Today we spent about three hours in the car going to see Mike's family to do like a socially distant gift exchange. So instead of like a normal vlog today, I thought I would do a little mini gift haul of the very thoughtful gifts that they gave me this year. And that's gonna be the vlog for the day. It'll probably be a little bit shorter than normal too. So I'll start with the gift that was really for me and Mike. And it's these really cool solar powered lamps to hang outside and they are solar powered but I think I can turn it on just to show you like what they look like. They're actually really cool and really pretty and you can see when it spins it throws off all these little flecks of light so I can't imagine how pretty it would be on like a summer night when the breeze is blowing. I think we're gonna end up hanging these off of our screen house on the outside because we don't really have anywhere else we can like hang something in our backyard but they are solar powered so as long as the sun can get to them during the day we never have to like put batteries in them or anything so that's super convenient they actually gave us a set of two so those are really cool and then I don't know how she does it but Mike's mom always manages to find me something beetle related. So on the gift box itself was this adorable little beetle ornament with a little tree on top. And then inside the box was this. It's a beetle cookie jar. It opens up. You can put cookies in it. I don't know if that's what I'm going to use it for. I might use it for something else just so that I can have it in my office. But I'm having trouble coming up with like what I could put inside. But when I think of it, this is probably going to live somewhere where it can be out all year round. I don't know how she finds these things. They're absolutely adorable. And then last month we started doing some major clean out of our attic and our basement and we actually got a dumpster and Mike was in charge of the basement because of all the spiders but I was in charge of the attic and while I was up there I found a plastic tote bin full of four by six printed out photos from my childhood. So when Mike's mom was like asking what I might need for Christmas, I know that at some point in the winter I'm going to start going through all of those photos and I just asked for like plain photo albums that hold 4x6 photos. I don't want to do anything special. We all know how I feel about scrapbook gang. So she gave me these two photo albums. They're literally exactly what I wanted. It just holds two pictures per page and obviously you can put them in the front and the back. This one is exactly the same on the inside and it has hearts on the outside. So they're just perfect for the project that I need to use them for. Simple and easy to use. Perfect. And then this is what Mike's sister got me. She knows that I've been really into Animal Crossing this year, like so many of us, but she got me an Animal Crossing water bottle. Let me show you it close up. You can see it has Tom Nook, it has Blathers, it has a few characters that I don't actually know. Isabella's on there. And obviously I love the color, but she also got me this Animal Crossing shirt and I love this because I know who a lot of these people are. This is Whitney, she lives on my island. Apollo, he lives on my island. And Aurora lives on my island. So it has literally three of the characters that live on my island and they're literally at the top of the shirt. So I thought that was really cool. I don't have that many yellow shirts, so this is actually like pretty unique for me. And normally video game shirts are very loud and gaudy but this one is very like subdued and it's just two colors and if you don't know what it is it you wouldn't even know it was like a video game shirt so I really like it and I haven't tried it on yet but I'm sure it'll fit so fun and I don't think I've talked about this specifically on my channel I don't really get into sports that much but I do like football I started watching when I was in high school my high school boyfriend used to invite me over and it was really his dad shout out to Frank he'll never see this. It was really his dad that made me start liking football because of the way he made the experience really fun. They were Jets fans, but we all hated 
on Tom Brady and it was very fun. So I kind of was like a Jets fan by association. After we broke up, I kept watching football and I decided to take a couple years to decide which team I was going to root for because once I chose a team, that was going to be it. I was gonna like them the rest of my life. The two that it came down to were the Philadelphia Eagles and the New Orleans Saints. And I ended up going with the Philadelphia Eagles. All of this happened way before I met Mike, but once I met Mike, I found out that he was a Saints fan. So I was like, okay, that'll work, because they were like my second choice team. But then I found out that Mike's family are diehard Eagles fans. His dad grew up in Pennsylvania, and there's literally baby pictures of Mike in Eagles clothing. They love all the Philadelphia teams, and they were so excited that I was an Eagles fan that now they've taken me to my first NFL game, and they've taken me to my first real NHL hockey game and that was back in March like literally the week before everything shut down we saw the Flyers versus the Sabres. Mike likes the Sabres. Mike kind of likes teams from all over the place but his family loves all the Philadelphia teams. So I pretty much go all Philly except Mike likes the Braves and while I'm not really into baseball I've decided to go with him on that team because I really like Blooper which is the Braves mascot and I'm not a huge fan of the Philly fanatic so I'm going to go with my fiance on just one of the teams which is the Braves but I'm gonna go Philly on all the other teams because obviously Gritty like I'm obsessed with gritty. I don't even really like hockey. I just like gritty, but I'm sorry. I gotta go with blooper over the fanatic. So if you're wondering why I had to give you a short history of my sports fandom, it's because anytime I go to Mike's family for Christmas, they always give me an Eagles gift. They've given me socks, a blanket, M&Ms, you name it. They never ever give Mike a Saints gift. This year I got a whole goodie box. I got striped eagle socks that are fuzzy. This is my first pair of fuzzy eagle socks. You can see the logo right there. They gave me eagles paper because I'm always making lists, especially when I'm editing. And you can see I wrote Eagles 1 Saints 0 because uh, we all know what happened a few weeks ago. Eagles pens and an Eagles chapstick, even though it's not here, it's somewhere downstairs. Oh, and an Eagles pillow, which I'll insert because that is also downstairs. And lastly, they gave me something I specifically requested because one of my goals for the new year was to stop using as many single-use products as possible. And I think I did a pretty good job with it. Obviously, there's room for improvement, but I'm actually making a video in January about all the things in my house and in my daily life that I was able to replace with reusable items. And one of the things that was on my list, but I never actually purchased for myself, was reusable Ziploc baggies. And not only did they get me some, they're amazing. First up, the tiger. It's a reusable bag and it's a tiger. But then I saw the other animal and I just about died. It's a llama. Are you kidding me? Is this not the most amazing thing? Who would ever want to use a stupid plastic Ziploc baggie now. Now that these exist, dishwasher safe. Dishwasher safe. So yeah, pretty good appetizer to Christmas. Now I know where Mike gets his great gifting skills from because it literally runs in the family. But I've been in the car all day so that's about all I can handle for today's vlog and I will see you tomorrow for day nine?